Hi there and welcome back to Stellaris Utopia and to the culture. We're here at war with the great Xolpi Empire. But we are designing ships now because we want to rebuild ships. And why are we designing? Why, why aren't we using the, the really good designs we have already? Because there's a Pretherin Scourge. And we need to change for the Pretherin Scourge. Like the specific thing about the Pretherin Scourge, which we could see earlier on, was they have no shields. They and, and they have, as a compensation for that, they have relatively good armor. So, I mean, these guys are beaten. Our anti-ships anti, uh, here will stay in use until they go down. So it's all okay. But we need new ships against the Pretherin. I mean, the culture philosophy has always been nothing is uh, ever like outdated. So we're we're using and using and using our ships. We're not like updating them now, as they have really good weapons. We'll instead rebuild other ships. And how could we destroy the Pretherin? We need to focus on taking out. Uh, their yeah their their ships what can they their creatures at a long range maybe they're also firing kinds of like missile comparable things they have hunters comparable things so we'll need some maybe flag cannons because we have already good flag cannons it makes sense to use the flag cannons on the other hand, it makes sense to use long-range things that are good against... Um, or longer-range range things that are good against armor. And that can penetrate armor. Like the plasma cannon, ignoring 60% of armor. Or the phase disruptor. That would be bad. Like ignoring shields or shield damage. Mm, that won't help us anything. Like the small gamma laser is kind of good. The plasma cannon is definitely better. Then we have the missiles. Are they good? No, they're not good. Then we have our cannons. They are kind of okay, but really the stormfire auto cannon is much better than the gorse. So the best weapon would be this, definitely. Plasma cannon here. And then we have the torpedoes. Let's see if we have good torpedoes. Shield damage. And this ignores 50% of armor. So this is definitely a better choice against the Pretherin if we want to go armor torpedoes. But I'm not sure if they are good because they have 0% evasion. I think they are not that good. So we're going to go for Interceptor. And then we're going to go for Small Plasma Cannon. So you can see here it does minuscule less damage than the, the laser, but it does much more against armor. So it's ultimately a better choice. It doesn't have like a great range. So um, we'll focus on moving in quickly maybe on the other hand we could go for crystal forged plating but i think that's not good with kobits it's not like really that good hmm. <laughs> the thing is we cannot go and make these defensive so we have to do something offensive the combat speed upping that combat speed is definitely a good thing Crystal Forge plating makes no really not much sense with a Corvette. The shield capacitor would be kind of good, but defense in a Corvette is so-so. I mean, if we go for a shield capacitor and autocomplete the ship, it gets one shield, right? That's not much. It needs, like, really needs the Crystal Forge plating because regeneration on this, nah. Just not good enough. So we're going for the advanced afterburners here. 
then we need some some of that uh, power. Yeah, that's what we need. <laughs> and the rest could be shields. Oh, what do the shields cost us? Power usage 12.5. Look at that, that's a nice design, all in all. That should be okay as an anti-Fretherin class. Corvette. Now we're going for the next one. Next size. So we have saved that design. Go for a new design. We need a destroyer. Focused on that. Longest range possible. So artillery bow is something good. And maybe gunship stone or picket ship stone. Picket ship stone for point defense against their small missile things. Gunship stone is also good. We could put in um, the flag. Like that may be better. Let's have a look at the flag battery artillery. 4.41. Now, if we go for the picket ship stern. Yeah, the pointy fins. I mean, we could double that. Like 4.4, we have a range of 10. I don't know if it's good. 4.4 damage, range of 10, tracking 35. Hmm. Yeah, that is better, right? It's just better, flak artillery. So we're going flak artillery. And now we need something long range. That is good against um, armor. The kinetic battery would be something good. It has a range of 100, which is very good, and a high damage. Let's see. That would ignore 90% of armor. Doesn't have quite the range. Range 80. Hmm. Kinetic artillery. <laughs> but it only ignores 20% of armor. And it has less accuracy. It's a hard toss-up hard toss-up. I think we're going to like we're going to use the plasma con cannon. I mean it's an energy weapon, it's we're not good at this, but it's much better against the Pretherin. So what do we have here? I think we can go for the crystal forged plating or the shield capacitor. Yeah shield capacitor is probably better with a smaller ship. So let's see, we need zero point reactors now. Yeah, we have something. And we have hyper shields. Well, that's not really that good. We could have two of the hyper shields and then some armor. I mean, it's kind of perfect. Hmm. Yeah, it's... It's hard. It's hard to decide. I think that's quite a good... Quite a good design. So we're going uh, anti... Pretherin class of the destroyers. Oh, now we have oversaved that. Oh my god. So it's not... Oh, all right. anti Pretherin M-Class. Yeah, all right, all right. We'll trash that and make, make the... Remake the Corvette. There we go. Have that. That stuff. And auto-complete the ship. 
and choose something else, like Afterburners. And now we have anti Pretherin S class. And anti Pretherin M class, then we need a cruiser. As I said, large, long-range weapons are good, and point defense is also good. Which will be, in this case, probably flag. <laughs> so we're going for the medium range for the flag, for the defense. And for the long range, we'll choose again the plasma cannons. Then we can go for twice the Crystal Forge plating if we want here. And then go for massive armor and stuff. Hmm, that's not that massive, right? Maybe we can take this down and this down. And can go for a little bit of more of armor here. Um, that's the L class, and the battleship will be the XL class. So we have a whole anti Pretherin fleet then. Let's go for the battleship. Yeah, we, we want the, the extra large weapon here. Then we want some more large weapons. And maybe I don't know. Yeah, let's let's go for large. Let's see what we have here. Ignores ninety percent of armor, so the particle lens is good. Arc emitter ignores just about everything. That thing is better. Like the particle lens has more damage against like armored. And we have the focused arc emitter, that is even better. Hmm. 110 range that has 100 yeah but I think we need to go for the particle lens just for the raw damage of it and let's see the giga cannon is also kind of good wow it, it has 27 damage you know 50% of armor accuracy 90% I think it might even be better for us yeah, just and we like that. I mean we like the we like the particle kinetic weapons. So we're going that. And for the rest we're going to go plasma cannons. The hope that this will destroy them. <laughs> we'll of course go crystal forged plating again. To improve our hull points by a lot. And then we can autocomplete the ship and see what's left there and armor is pretty good already but maybe maybe we can scrape down a little bit more no auto complete again i mean that needs 50 that spends yeah i think it's optimal already now The anti in XL class. And now, um, the thing is, these are energy weapons. So we'll, from now on, we'll specialize in energy weapons because that's the next thing. I mean, that's the, the prominent thing we'll have to stop is the Pretherin. If we cannot stop the Pretherin, all will be lost. I mean, the, the Xolpi Empire is defeated. They have nothing, nothing anymore um, that could stop us. So we'll focus on these guys the pretherin scourge and now and now uh, maybe we can maybe we can take down uh, one more planet maybe that that's in right so let's go 
Let's go. Let's let's have a little bit of play also, not only design. We need to be watchful. If there are any new fleets coming or forming, we need to squash them. There are some armadas forming. Can you see that? To 5,000 again. And there's something coming. There's also something. The transport fleet. Another fleet. Transport ships are coming into the orbit. There we have our other transport fleet. Oh yeah, that's Ultrax Point. And you need to go into the orbit of Ultrax Point. Checky Jan. Our citizen. But there's a hostile fleet. Where? Oh, there it is. They're trying to stop us. Not with Maria Gatto. Hey, we have galactic campaigns. Now we have cheaper war demands. Further improvements to administration grant an extended power projection across the stars. The military cloud needed to enforce our demands. Um. Yeah, what, what will we go for now? Administrative efficiency is quite good for us. There's a lot that is quite good. But I think as we're at war, it would maybe focus on armies. Like on on damage first. We're like offensively minded. So let's go for aggressive conditioning too. The overwhelming forces that we have. So make our victory all the quicker. What is that even? One cruiser and three corvettes. And he has... he's an engineer. Oh, we would love to have an engineer too. And that is our fleet. There's another fleet coming. <laughs> That's crazy. They're trying to get to our transport fleet, right? Situation updated. So let's see what we can do at Landis. Mm. Some peace. Some things were happening here. Oh, there's an armada. And I think we might need to attack them. And we'll send the fleet over to the Space Defenders. Just for their safety. The, the troops. Our troops need to be safe. We should be able to get the guys in Almak. going on there come on there we go you should be able to easily target them instantly there we go Elimano the aggressive one yeah, that won't help you battleship it was a very good battleship I guess but it was taken down. Let's enter that again. Maybe we can maybe we can just hunt here. It's it should be okay. Make them aggressive too. station engaged oh the second armada is going down too nice 
Nicely done. The spaceport is in this as well. We're looking at Ultrax Point. Who will we send in? We have Napoleon Gatto, Jackie Jan. Napoleon wants to go first, so. Oh, Checky is in the in the lead. Well, then let's let let him go. He was first there. How will Checky Jan go? He'll probably go very good. But now we have Napoleon Gatto. He's like the getting there, and they're saying, "Hey, <laughs> I'm the boss here. <laughs> I'm the older general, uh, and I'm the butcher." <laughs> He's been general for a longer time, but he's younger. He's only 35. Our bad fleet is in combat 2. Space hunters and... There's something here at the bleak star, there's something. There we go. Ultrax Point is taken. We can re-embark. Nice going. We'll go back to Elthine. Um, also with a transport fleet. How many how many fleets do we have? For the transports. One. Okay. <laughs> it's a little bit of a little bit strange. <laughs> hey, Gato has leveled up. Level four now. Nice going. Fleet combat stats, triumphant. We're at 29%. Doing extremely good. There's something on Almac. No, we're not going here. We're going here now. To that fleet. That's a little bit... The AI should, like, collect their fleets more. That's not going to work out well otherwise. Hmm. A final look. Maybe maybe we can get a sensor link. Some of these guys, maybe the Pavolians or something. They're kind of okay with us. They're wary. Ah. Um. What, what would you like to give us? Mm. They don't like that. Maybe the Lunarians? They like us more. Overlord. Will guarantee their independence? No. We'll try to offer a trade deal to these cats. The moon cats. <laughs> they don't like that at all. Alright. Then we have the Domana Dominion. They'll be, they'll soon be devoured, I guess. Um, active sensor link versus active sensor link. They really don't like that. But I think they'll be cheap to buy, right? How about twenty years? That's how. That's the maximum I think you'll exist. We'll give you something. Some, I don't know, minerals maybe. You like some minerals. 400 minerals should be okay. Should see you then. And the Pretherins. Let's have a look. There we go. There are the Pretherin fleets. We can now see them in the systems. Cannot 
get to the ship details. Look at that. They have 223% weapons damage, ship hull points, whatever. Um, very powerful. 6,000. What? The Broodmothers. That's going to be interesting. They have 80% armor, so going for armor is definitely a good thing. We'll see about what we can do there. And also goodbye to Mana Dominion. I think you're just at the point of being totally exterminated. Good luck. Oh my god. <laughs> and another resilient one. Look at that. 1,139 1, years old. Ooh. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting time. Look at that, this, the star brood is even here already. An interesting time. Maybe we'll also build some stations. We'll have to. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Happy gaming to you. See you in the next episode of The Culture. The Culture loves you. <laughs>